Hi everybody, I am Naufal. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to discuss regarding variables. So what is mean by variables? Variables is nothing. It is something that change. Variable is something that change. That means it is not fixed or it is not constant. It is something that change. Variable can be a person or object or any situation. And variable can be measurable. Keep it in mind, variables can be measurable and variable is something that change. From the name itself, you can see variable. Okay, so able to vary or able to change. Able to vary or able to change. For example, age is a variable. Gender is a variable. Income is a variable. Marital status is a variable. Occupation status is a variable. It is an example for variables. All these things can change. And we can measure it. Got it? Now we can see the definition of variables. Variables are qualities or characteristics of a person, thing or situation that change or vary variables are qualities or characteristics of a person thing or situation that change or vary so variables are the quality of a person or characteristics of a person and that can change okay that is variable clear now we can see the different types or classification of variables different types or classification of variables first one is independent variable independent variables and second classification is dependent variables so, from the name itself, independent variable. Independent variable is independent. You have to keep it in mind. Independent variable means it is the variable that is responsible to make changes. Independent variable is the variable that is responsible to make changes. For example, your study is to assess the effect of painkiller injection among patients with Pain. Your study is to assess the effect of painkiller injection among patients with pain. Okay. So, painkiller injection and patient with pain. This is your study. Okay. To assess the effect of painkiller injection among patient with pain so here the patients are having pain and you are going to give painkiller injection so here who is responsible to make changes in this study painkiller injection is responsible to make changes among the patient with pain after giving the painkiller injection what will happen the patient with pain they will get relief from the pain got it so the thing that is responsible to make changes is independent variable here the independent variable is painkiller injection painkiller injection is the independent variable because it is responsible to make changes another example your study is to assess the effect of smoking and lung cancer to assess the effect of smoking and lung cancer okay another example is smoking and lung cancer so here smoking the researcher is allowing non smokers to smoke for long period of time and he is observing that whether they are getting lung cancer 
So, here the independent variable is the variable that is responsible to make change is smoking. They started smoking and smoking is the independent variable that is responsible to make a change. The change is lung cancer. What it? So, independent variable is the variable that is responsible to make changes. So, here painkiller injection is making some changes. Here smoking is making some changes. So, that is independent variable. Painkiller injection is the independent variable in this example and smoking is also a independent variable. Now, we can see in detail regarding independent variable. Independent variable is the variable that is purposefully manipulated or changed by the researcher to see the effect on dependent variable. Okay. That is the definition of independent variable. Independent variable is the variable that is purposefully manipulated or changed by the researcher to see the effect on dependent variable. So, here the researcher is purposefully manipulating or changing. He is giving painkiller injection. Purposefully, he is giving painkiller injection. For what? To see the effect on patient with pain that is dependent variable. Here in the example, purposefully the researcher is allowing to smoke to see the effect on normal person. They got the effect after smoking that is lung cancer. So, that is the definition of independent variable. So, you should know regarding what is a dependent variable. Dependent variable is nothing. It is the result or outcome due to the effect of independent variable. Okay? Dependent variable is the variable that is the result or outcome due to the effect of independent variable variable due to the effect of independent variable. So, the result of smoking is lung cancer. Okay. Result of smoking is lung cancer. Result or outcome due to the effect of independent variable. Due to the effect of independent variable here due to the effect of smoking. The result is lung cancer. Got it? That is dependent variable. Dependent variable is always dependent to independent variable. And it is the result or the outcome due to the effect after giving the treatment, after manipulation or after making a change, a effect is occurring. That is dependent variable, the result or outcome due to the effect of independent variable variable due to the influence of independent variable the change is occurring a result is there or a outcome is there that is dependent variable here in the example smoking is the independent variable and due to the effect of smoking lung cancer is the result so here lung cancer patients are the dependent variable here patient with pain and they are getting relief from the pain they are the dependent variable got it so always keep it in mind dependent variable is the effect dependent variable is the effect dependent variable is effect and independent variable is the cause okay cause of smoking the effect is lung cancer keep it in mind Cause is independent variable and effect if you are seeing that is dependent. This is the result. Always the dependent variable is the result of the effect of independent variable. Okay. So, here in research you can see short form independent variable always you can see IV and dependent variable always you can see DV. IV is the short form of independent variable and DV is the short form of dependent variable. Clear? Next, we can see the another classification, the third classification of the variable that is extraneous variable.
next classification is extraneous variable. So, here extraneous variables are not the part of our study, but it will affect the it will affect the dependent variable or it will affect the study result. Okay. Extraneous variable is not the part of our study. It is not the part of our study, but it will affect the dependent variable. For example, our study is to assess the effect of coffee and sleeping. Okay. Our study is to assess the effect of coffee and sleeping. Now, we are assessing the effect of coffee and sleeping. So, here coffee is the independent variable and coffee is going to make a effect on the sleeping pattern of the study samples. We are doing study with, just imagine we are doing the study with 100 sample. So, to this 100 sample, to this 100 people we are giving coffee, 50 ml coffee or 100 ml coffee we are giving before bedtime and we are assessing the sleeping pattern. Definitely in coffee, caffeine is there, their sleeping hours will be reduced. If they are sleeping for 8 hours, definitely it will reduce for 7 hours or 6 hours. We are assessing the effect of coffee. But among this 100 sample, among this 100 person, 10 of them are having stress. They are having tension or they are having stress. So, definitely this stress is also going to affect the sleeping pattern. But we are assessing here only coffee and sleeping. But stress or tension is also affecting the sleeping pattern or this stress is not our part of the study. But among this 100 sample, 10 of our samples are having stress. So, due to stress also their sleeping pattern is changing, but we are thinking it is the effect of coffee that is extraneous variable. Here the extraneous variable is stress, tension or stress is the extraneous variable. We are assessing coffee and sleeping, but unfortunately stress of the samples are also affecting the sleeping pattern, but stress is not the part of our study. We are not assessing regarding the stress and sleeping pattern. We are assessing regarding coffee and the sleeping, but stress is also influencing that is extraneous variable. Extraneous variable are not the part of the study, but will affect the dependent variable that is the sleeping that is extraneous variable. Next classification is control variables controlled variables. Next classification is controlled variables. So, here in the controlled variables, extraneous variables are controlled and made constant and it will not affect the study results. What we are doing? Extraneous variables are controlled and made constant and it is not going to affect the study result. I will give you the example. For example, we are going to assess the effect of hard work and exam result. Okay, We are going to assess the effect of hard work and exam result. You are going to assess the effect of hard work and exam result. So, here hard work is an independent variable and due to the effect of hard work, definitely there will be change in the exam result. The students will score more mark or more percentage. So, here extraneous variable will be there. Now, you got an idea regarding extraneous variable. Hard work, they did very well. But in the classroom, while they are writing the exam, while they are writing the exam, they did the hard work. But in the classroom, the temperature is too hot. It is extreme climate. It is 
too hot while writing the exam they got they started to get sweating suffocation is there dehydration is there so properly they can't write the exam so here temperature is a extraneous variable temperature is a extraneous variable so in control variable what we are doing we are controlling the extraneous variable and made constant so what we have to do we have to adjust the room temperature we are fitting a ac air conditioner we are fitting in that examination room now the temperature is controlled the extraneous variable temperature we have controlled now this temperature will not affect our study and we made it constant we we made it constant due to fitting ac now the room temperature is maintained now they can write properly their exam so control variable means the extraneous variable that are controlled and made constant and that will not affect our study result that is controlling the extraneous variable that is control variable clear last one is demographic variables last one is demographic variables demographic variable while conducting the study demographic variables you can see in the research so demographic variables means these are the variables that are the characteristics of the samples these are the characteristics of the samples for example you are conducting a study regarding lung cancer among the lung cancer patient their characteristics will be different different in age different in sex different in occupation different in income and all so this is demographic variable the characteristics of the sample that is the characteristics of the study subject if 100 study samples are there 100 persons are there so their characteristics will be different that is demographic variable characteristics of the study sample for example age height weight sex income occupational status marital status religion got it these are the main classification of variables independent variable dependent variable extraneous variable control variable and demographic variable so many other classification are also there but this is the most important classification of variable that's all regarding variables we will meet soon with another video till that time thank you and goodbye